When it comes to mechanical keyboard keycaps, ABS and PBT are the most common plastics used to manufacture them. While keycap material is not limited to these two, however, we will only cover the difference between ABS and PBT in this video because they are widely available while the rest falls in the niche and collectible category. ABS stands for Acrylonitrile Butadiene Styrene. ABS is commonly used in keycap manufacturing because it is low cost to produce while being reasonably durable for general usage. The term durable here means it won't break from your normal keystrokes. That doesn't change the fact that ABS has a softer characteristic whereby the most commonly known weakness is wearing down after continuous usage. A lot of people has been referring to this kind of keycap to be shiny or oily. This is not the result of our skin oil ending up transferring to the keycap. The actual cause is our fingerprint sanding and polishing the keycap surface until it loses the texture and become shiny and glossy. I still remember there was once a forumer suggesting that we wash our hands to keep our keycaps from becoming oily. <laughs> Since it is cheaper to produce, ABS keycap is the most common out there in the market and you can find tons of different designs and colors to mix and match without paying a hefty price tag. However, there is also an exception as expensive ABS keycaps actually do exist. For example, GMK sets. What you are paying is for the thicker keycap, unique design set and better finishing. PBT stands for Polybutylene Terephthalate. PBT keycaps used to be less common a few years ago. It was due to the tricky manufacturing process since PBT has a higher melting point at about 225 degrees Celsius compared to ABS at 105 degrees Celsius. The higher melting point has caused two issues for the factory. Number one, more energy consumption. And number two, the longer cooling time increases the chance of plastic warping whereby the keycap would shrink or deform during the cooling phase. That ends up with a lot of unusable or rejected stocks. This is why during the early days, the PBT spacebar is so rare and expensive. Topra keyboards used to have PBT keycaps paired with an ABS spacebar. As for the legend printing, since PBT can withstand higher manufacturing temperature, it can support the die sublimation printing method. In layman's terms, the machine transfers the text and the graphics to the keycap surface using heat. This is impossible to do on ABS keycaps simply because the ABS keycap would melt from that process. Despite the added cost of manufacturing, that doesn't stop factories from improving the manufacturing process because PBT keycaps are still highly sought after for the following reason. Durability. As opposed to how ABS keycap surface texture can wear off through everyday typing, PBT keycaps has a higher resistance to wear and tear. Keep in mind that this is higher resistance, not 100% immune, but still that is more than enough to entice the users. Hey, who doesn't want their keycap to look pristine all the time? Generally, PBT keycaps have a sandy texture and depending on the manufacturer, some of them can have very nice texture while the cheaper ones can feel very rough and doesn't feel as good as the good ones. Besides, PBT keycaps also tend to be thicker which will affect the overall typing sound. So to recap, ABS or PBT? Well, it depends on your preference for the design. Personally, I would prefer PBT simply because of two reasons. Number one, it is much more durable. And number two, I like how the sandy texture feels when I type in. 
You see, why I like durable keycaps is simply because I type a lot of scripts for videos and things like this. That means wear and tear is kind of a serious problem for my case and I really do want my keycaps to feel like day one. So that is my personal preference. However, there are some users they simply prefer the feeling of ABS. And this is what I call personal preference. I know there are a lot of uh, misconceptions about how PBT is always always superior compared to ABS. Actually it is not. At the end of the day, it is still dependent on which manufacturer produces it. You can have a very good ABS, you can also have a very bad PBT. So it still depends on how much money you spend. I mean at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And there are some misconceptions saying that how PBT is very rare and very difficult to produce. As I mentioned earlier, factories are keep on improving their manufacturing process and they have come up with a lot of uh, solutions for PBT. Just like last time, Double Shot is only exclusive for ABS because they want to try to do Double Shot PBT is sort of impossible for them to do. But look at what we have here nowadays you get tons and tons of double shot pbt choices out there in the market so i would say now abs and pbt is more or less is on the same level perhaps uh, depending on which design you prefer then you might get it on either abs or pbt uh, flavor just that either one of them should be the original and one of them is the clone nonetheless the money is yours and all the characteristics are there and at the end it's down to your preference. That's all I want to share with you uh, the difference between the ABS and PBT. Do let us know what you guys think about this video and if you have certain topic you want to know you can also leave it down in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video.